What has continued to happen to African American people before that crime and after that crime are testimony to the deeply entrenched systemic inequities that continue to flagrantly deny opportunity for African American people. And we've lost so many lives as a result of that, and we've got to weigh those on the scale. That's stupid. You talk like you're smart, but you're stupid. When O.J. Simpson died a few days ago, you'd expect some reflection on his two innocent victims. But unfortunately, in our woke media, white people bad. And that leads them to completely insane conclusions about how good it is that a black guy murdered two white people and got away with it. So sit back and try not to have an embolism while I show you these clips, then give you my thoughts at the end. I think it was less about his guilt or innocence uh -huh. um, and rather about the system and how the system treated African Americans and continues to treat African Americans in this, uh -huh. in, in this country. Uh -huh. It was less about whether or not OJ did it, because I think even today you'll go to, you know, barbershops and beauty salons and people will say, he did it, but he got away with it. Well, you must be very proud of yourself. And the police officers, um, the, you know, police officers have killed many more people than O.J. Simpson. Oh, I get it. I don't get it. O.J. Simpson was the, the leader of the civil rights movement of his era. You right. know, he wasn't a social justice leader, but he represented something for the black community in that moment, in that trial, particularly because there were two white people who had been killed. Oh, yes. I hate this. It is revolting. More? Please. What has continued to happen to African American people before that crime and after that crime are testimony to the deeply entrenched systemic inequities that continue to flagrantly deny opportunity for African American people. And we've lost so many lives as a result of that, and we've got to weigh those on the scale. What kind of babbling bullshit is this? Cause of that unrest, that racial unrest in the 90s, that is why so many people who may not have been invested in O.J. Simpson were just happy to see that someone who was rich and famous and black could get away with the, what other people did in the system as well, too. Did all IQs just drop sharply while I was away? This is the dumbest thing I've heard in a while. And if a majority of black Americans feel this way, wow, we are screwed. First of all, what do the actions of some police officers have to do with OJ Simpson murdering two innocent people? Nothing! Absolutely nothing! I'm not even saying that all police shootings are justified, but they shoot people of all colors. In fact, they shoot far more white people than black people. And when it does come to police shootings of black people, we see their standards for justified shootings is non-existent. And they will spin specifically cop shooting of black guys as victims. As mayor and as a father raising a family, including two black boys on the west side of Chicago, I'm personally devastated to see yet another young black man lose his life during an interaction with the police. After he was pulled over, he shot at police first and they returned fire. My heart breaks for the family of Dexter Reed. After he was pulled over, he shot at police first. And everyone knows this already, but black men are disproportionately represented in violent crime and murder. So it doesn't take a brain scientist to know why they're involved in more police shootings. I don't even understand their point because a black guy getting off for an obvious murder certainly doesn't prove the justice system is racist. All it proves is that the system is flawed because an obvious murder got off the hook, which means the only real reason these people are happy about it is because of the skin color of the murderer and the skin color of his victim. I'm sorry that these things happened to black people in the past, and we should never repeat those mistakes again. But all of these people getting on national news and TV networks to rationalize the murder of two innocent people as some sort of social justice or twisted payback for things that white people that are living today had nothing to do with is not only dangerous, but just like mind-blowingly racist. The black on white murder rate in this country has been disproportionately high for decades. I mean, just imagine that there's a white person sitting on CNN talking about how all these white people are very happy about a white guy getting off the hook for obviously murdering two black people because of those stats. You're dog meat, pal. It just hurts my head. What do you all think? Let me know in the comments, and if you're still watching, might as well hit that like button. Thanks a lot for watching. That's all I have for now, but make sure to keep checking back for more.